By watching Charlie Daniels perform, you sure wouldn't know that only three weeks ago, he had a pacemaker put in. Yeah, I've got an incision right here, and this is where it goes. The music legend says he wasn't feeling well, so went in for an exam. That's when doctors found his heart was in what they called AFib. I have been dealing with a problem they call AFib, which is your heart rhythm, for four and a half years and never really knew it because it was intermittent, it would happen for a while, but it would never last long enough to be, or this is my understanding of it, would never last long enough to get a, a really good diagnosis on it. Doctors gave him the option to go home and think about surgery, but Daniel said he chose to go ahead and do it that very day. I had my iPad with me and I asked the doctor, I said, look, if we do this, can I go back to work on the 11th? He said, yes, yeah. that's okay. That's what I want. Recovery was fairly simple. Daniel says he spent most of his time reading and writing for his blog. He even wrote about his entire experience in an entry called Keeping Pace. I wanted them to understand that it's not really a huge, huge procedure. It's not like open heart surgery. It's not like where they crack your chest open and go in and do all these things. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot less invasive procedure. And, uh, you know, it improves the quality of somebody's life so much. As he walked onto the Ryman stage Thursday night, Charlie says he found himself even more grateful than usual. Every breath, every stay up, every bit of your heart is a gift from God. Every one, you know. And I, I appreciate them all. He wants his fans to know that in no way did this surgery slow him down. I love y'all. I appreciate your concern, but I'm, I'm doing great. You're going to have to put up with me for a while. In fact, Charlie says it made him stronger. Just a blessing, he says, that comes with getting older. Gray hair is a blessing, darling. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I always wanted to let me have uh, hair long enough to have gray hair, so I still got a little left. So. I think that might be the first time I saw you without your hair. Really? Hat. Are you serious? Maybe. All these years, you never seen me without my you hair. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen you without that hat. <laughs> well, it's not a pretty sight, but I, I think you look handsome. <laughs> Thank I you very much. I think it's great. Thank you. All you young girls got to quit flirting with me like that. You know, it's not good for my face. <laughs>